Hello, thank you. Thank you all. Sorry, sorry. <clears throat> being here is always so special for me, but being here today is something else. And today, today is different, and it's a special night, and it is a special night for a reason. Today, May 15 May, we know more than any other days that we live in dire times. We all witnessed what we have just been told. Police, full gear, arresting peaceful uh, citizen, peaceful uh, member of the Jewish communities trying to protest for peace. Police beaten down, crashing schools of an un underage student just for showing solidarity. We witnessed Yanis being banned from the political activity in Germany and the people who were banned with him being banned from entering in the whole Schengen area, now in France and in Netherlands as well. But you also see him being cut down in the Italian television just for speaking the truth because he was listening of some parallel reality where up until October the 7th in Gaza, apparently it was all good. This is what we are witnessing, and I know that you, most of many, know what I'm talking about when I speak about the violence of the powerful, the violence of the 1%. Yet I wanna think, if you ask me, that there is something new. I feel like the oligarchy, the power, the media, they are going all in. They are sparing no efforts, no weapon, no measures to contrast this uprising. They, they showed every little side of hypocrisy of their action, and they know that they have to push harder and harder because maybe for the first time, maybe not everywhere, but in many places, they are losing some battle. They are failing the battle for our souls and for our mind. And they are afraid. They're failing to convince us that what they're doing in Gaza is right. They are failing, failing to convince us that we do need and we do deserve to hope for a better life. We do, they do are failing in convincing us that this is the best world possible, like they used to. They are losing and they are scared and that is why they need violence. This is why they need war. And this is why they are turning into the most authoritarianist dystopia we are ever seeing. They need the war. They need this violence. They need to keep the power. They need it. Because somehow we are waking up. And polls shows that they don't have us anymore. Maybe not in party, but on the single issues. We, for the first time maybe, we are part of the silent majority that can stand no more for all of this. Maybe silent majority is not the right word. Maybe silent said majority is the right concept. And so, here in Greece, like in Italy, like in Germany, like in the rest of the West, like even in the United States, they know that they are facing a new threat. They have to crush us harder in order to keep the power. And the next election are probably going to be 
a special occasion, a special combination in time where we are reviving our souls enraged by all the hypocrisy and the slaughter and the genocide we are witnessing. And they have to bear with the popular vote for one less time. And we probably have one less time to show them that we can be their pain in the ass. And we need to do that. We need to do that here. We need to do this in Italy, in Germany, and all across the West to show them that we will not silencing accept being silenced and being witnessed to all this madness.